Leave it to TikTok to take the most basic exercise, the plank, and turn it into the most extreme, clickbaity, viral exercise there possibly is in the world, all in name of appearing on the For You page. World's hardest. As I'm on my comeback tour, returning to my most fit self after COVID, post explant surgery, traveling, and emergency dental work, perfect time to put my core strength to the test against the most viral and toughest of plank challenges on the internet. And by internet, I mean TikTok. But TikTok is now the internet because that's all we consume. And it controls every aspect of our personality and life and pop culture at this point. Let's go do some planks. People on YouTube love before and after, so I'm gonna show you my before, today, and after. You cannot get abs in 24 hours. Abs are like any muscle, they take time, but for the sake of this, I'm just gonna more so show that even if you do all this intense ab workout, it's not really gonna change much in 24 hours. <sighs> Here's my ew. What is the world's hardest plank? First, the most popular plank routine. Second, the most challenging TikTok plank routine. And third, the current trending brand new kid on the block. Second part, I'm gonna attempt what fitness professionals consider the hardest plank. And third, I'm gonna test my plank hold and see if I can get in the top 1% of plank holds in the world for my gender and age. And doing it in under 30 minutes, I think I've created the hardest plank challenge. Plank number one. Oh my god, there's a bug. There's a bug right beside my camera. Oh god, it's a centipede. <laughs> oh, and then we hold. So just see this bug. Oh my god, there's two colliding. Ah. Okay, we're just gonna scare them away. Go the other way. I don't want to kill you. Just don't want to be near you. Oh my god, am I in a bunch of bugs? This is alarming. There's four. I now see four. What nightmares are made of. Ah. One. Two, three, I got a friggin' seagull. Okay, this is no longer a plank challenge, this is a safari survival guide. I'm gonna attempt this, now they kinda know. Okay, now I've got this. Remember, not like this, tuck pelvis, engaged. Nailed it. Second plank, probably the most classic one you've seen. I'm gonna attempt to do this first without practicing. Right foot, not left foot. Right foot, no left foot. Practice these, I don't have the rhythm down, so it's looking a little subpar. Okay, I can do that one. I'm gonna try that again. Okay, better. Before I show you the world's hardest plank. I'm thirsty. Jill, 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 right there. Jill, go drink some water. I'm worried about your hydration. Not just your hydration. Yes, water is part of it, but if you're watching this, you probably work out. You're athletic. So it's not just hydration, it's electrolytes. Cause you don't just lose water in your sweat. You lose sodium, so you need your potassium, your magnesium. But you're sitting here and be like, Kelty, how do I do that? I don't just wanna put salt in my water. I got a solution to you. It brings me to today's sponsor, my absolute obsession. This is one of those, like, if you think this is a forced ad, you haven't been paying attention. I'm shocked I didn't invent this. Honestly, a little upset. Every other YouTuber has a product. I don't, because Element created the product I would have created. Tastes like a spicy mark. <sighs> It's so fucking good. Mm. Literally all that's in it is the perfect ratio of electrolytes. A thousand milligrams of sodium, 200 milligrams of potassium, 60 milligrams of magnesium. And it's the highest in quality. It's perfect for athletes. A bunch of professional teams use them. Anyone who sweats, you're gonna need to help replenish this. Because yes, you need electrolytes, but a lot of electrolyte supplements have all this crap. Element is just exactly everything you need. It's just the electrolytes. There's no sugar, there's no coloring. Cause yes, it's completely clear. Notice how all the other electrolytes are color, that unnatural color, yes, because they have color in them. I truly feel so many people will have such a better quality of life if they start using electrolytes. You're gonna have less muscle cramps. You're gonna have improved quality of sleep because you're not getting woken up. I used to get woken up from severe calf cramps. Literally, all I needed to do was start salting my food. Boom, headaches. That's why you get a headache when you're hungover. Great hangover cure. All things that it could simply be 
an electrolyte imbalance. Right now, Element is offering my listeners a free sample pack. That's eight single serving Element packets with any order. It's a great way that you can try all the flavors, figure out which ones you want. They have amazing flavors. I love the lemon lime, the watermelon's delicious, the raspberry salt. This deal is only available through my link. That is D-R-I-N-K-L-M-N-T dot com slash Kelty to get yours. Thank you, Element, for sponsoring this video. I hope you sponsor another because I just forever want free Element. I'm sorry you guys are gonna see this so much. I'm so obsessed with this. Oh, my hangover for my runners. Like if you're watching my channel, you're someone that needs electrolytes. You're one or the other. You go out or you work out. Either one of you. Third one. I can only hold a handstand if I'm lucky, maybe three seconds. We're gonna wing it. Okay, for this one, I need to change locations because a lot of cement around here. And trust me, I'll do a lot for you guys. I will sacrifice, not I will, I have sacrificed my mental health on YouTube because you guys are worth it. Guess what, I try not to sacrifice a concussion. <laughs> And what did I? I just realized the person I was watching was doing it was like some expert level, so they did the advanced version. So I'm gonna try and do the basic version. Oh my god, people make this look so easy. <sighs> it's been a week and I'm gonna attempt that handstand plank again. I've only really tried it two more times. Fourth one, honestly, I just thought this beat seems cool. Planks are one of the best things for your core. If you actually engage your core, a lot of people don't. And if you want to actually win a plank holding competition, it's very not just of using your ab strength. This is a great example. Take some core strength, but it's also take mainly upper body strength. Of course, I did this after <sighs> doing a chin up challenge and I had a massive back day. But you know what they call that? Excuses, Kelty. It all starts fucking today, all right? No more fucking excuses. Also, note, like that is not the song on TikTok. I'm aware it's called copyright. Because TikTok is the wild, wild west. They can wait everything. They could use music, us here on YouTube. We gotta have our clickbait, I'm sorry. We're these crazy titles. We can't use copyright music. We're offending for ourselves. TikTok's over here like, I'm gonna do a five second dance to a trending song. Boom. I'm Addison Wright. She's more talented than that. I'm just saying. Check in on your YouTubers. We're not okay. Screw that, I should have maybe not done it right back to back. That one's fun, highly recommend that. I'm back. Research Kelty here, and I don't want to brag. I've been researching and Googled what is the hardest plank in the world? And the first article that came up was this from Stacked. And what was it? The RKC plank. Are you saying, Research Kelty, have you not been mentioning that consistently for three years? Yes. Let's just say my ego was quite filled when I've been promoting the RKC plank for the last little while because it is a very effective ab exercise. Regular Kelty is going to show you now. Now, people who have a natural anterior pelvic tilt, I'm not a physiotherapist, so it's not advice, but any advice I've been given from physical therapists, trainers, is RKC plank is a great exercise for mine who naturally have an anterior pelvic tilt. Now, RKC plank. Think of your regular plank, you're just like this, neutral pelvis. It's gonna look a little bit like it's wrong form. Now, we never wanna do this, concave. We're gonna do, tuck our pelvis in. Think of tucking in. If you're laying like this, pelvis tucked in, belly button pulled up, squeeze that action. It's all about your elbows elbows and abs. So you're going to come here, you're going to think of driving your elbows down into the ground into your knees and tucking your pelvis in and squeezing and squeezing as hard as you possibly can for about 10 seconds. Squeeze up all your mind like you're going to break the ground. Oh. You really want to think of that exercise as like a sprint, like strong, explosive with all your might for like 10 seconds and like that's all you can possibly do. Put all your force into that squeeze and then relax versus like a plank. Normally would be just like how long you can hold it with good form. This is like you're trying to max out and that's why like if you're doing an RKC plank properly with all your might you shouldn't be able to hold it for like 20 seconds and above. Like after 10 seconds if you've done it properly you're like that's all I can do. Last plank I'm gonna do. Hold my plank for as long as I possibly can and I don't want to break but I've won three three plank holding competitions. Nobody asked. One in high school, second in college, against the whole school or anyone that showed up. 
third at this Christmas fitness class party in Toronto. I know I can hold a plank for 14 minutes, but that was pre-boobs. Found a research article, fitness norms for plank exercise. In the female category, 121 seconds is in the 75 percentile and excellent. So I definitely have to get above 121. The goal is 10 post boobs, but my PR would be above 14. Cause I've never gone above 14 cause I won at 14 the one time I did. It's gonna be boring. So we'll speed it up, but I will show a timer. Also upon reflection, I should have done this first, not after attempting all the other um, planks, but you know. The real reason I'm doing this is as you guys know, I want my comeback tour to become my most athletic self. I want to bring you guys with me. I have stuff involving chin-ups, vertical, sprint training, a bunch of that. But it also, I want to have my baseline. I don't just want to have a before and after picture come January when I bring you guys on this journey. I'm testing my blood. I'm testing my bone density. I'm testing my sprinting, my vertical, and my core strength. The finale of all this will be in January. For right now, we're seeing my baseline. Oh my god, Pigeon, I'm sick of you. I'm sick of you. What are you doing? Get away from my balcony, you shit. Go. Go, go. I have a friend who's a chef who knows how to cook pigeon. Do you hear that? Leave, leave. Okay, I'm gonna start the timer here to show you guys, but I'll officially have the timer on my watch because this will have to start like five seconds before I actually get on there. The rules, I can change from being on my elbows to my arms and I can go to one arm to grab a drink of water. But as soon as my knees touch, it's done. And we're going. One minute and change up. Two minutes. Mm. Oh God, electrolyte in my eye. <laughs> my low back is starting to. Three minutes. Four minutes. Oh my back, Ugh. my lower back, oh my god, it hurts. Sick. Oh no, this form is not good. Don't copy this form. This is danger zone. 5.30, okay, I'll make it to six. Six. I'm falling. Oh, oh, damn it, damn it. Okay, the official time on here was six to what? Uh -huh. Oh God, my arms are fried. I need to put you guys down. I can't even hold the camera. But if you guys have been following, this is like my comeback. So the entire series, of shut up. <laughs> Peanut gallery, jeez. I saved a seal's life once. Maybe it's the seal I saved. This is my comeback to her. Trying not to be too hard on myself. Still? Impressed. I came back from surgery and travel, COVID. We're going back, so I'm gonna get to my top plank when I play basketball. My highest vertical. This is beginning, so follow along. It's challenging. I'm gonna try some of this in a week, see how it fared. But here's the baseline. Hit subscribe because we're gonna do this shit. Ooh, I promised you all a hack too on how to beat every plank competition. You just change your muscle group. So you like put all your weight in your chest for like a minute, then you put all your weight in your abs and then your quads. I know it takes some muscle memory, but if you can just think of like right now, my arms, and then you get to rest the rest of your body. So you're not just doing abs the entire time, you're like doing different muscle groups and you cycle through and that's how you can do it. Is that the best form? Is that gonna be the best exercise? No, but I mean like if you're challenged at a bar, drunk at 2 a.m. to hold a plank, that's how you do it. If you injure yourself, I'm not liable. I'm telling you how to win, not how to optimize your life. In that incident, other times I try to, try to be a good influence, but you know, balance. Sometimes you're the hero, sometimes you're the villain, and that's life. Day after the planks, abs look the exact same. If not, could look a little worse because muscles tend to get inflamed when you do a lot of work to them. So just a friendly reminder, if you see any workout program out there, it's like abs or just any change in 24 hours. You're smarter than that. So why don't you guys in the comments uh, give me a rating out of was it seven, six, five planks I did? Give me a rating on how I did if I passed any of them. Come in a couple months, we're gonna try these again and see how I fare. I'm gonna challenge you all to do the RKC plank. Hope you have a great day, go pet a dog, love you guys, bye.